Hey guys, welcome to Love Them Knives channel. Today we got the Max Ace Panzer. Thanks for joining me. Today, Max Ace Panzer, yeah. Ooh, 14C28N, Sandvik Steel, Stonewash Blade. This is not a terribly expensive knife. Obviously, we don't have a titanium anodized pocket clip, any of that kind of crazy stuff, but we do have anodized titanium scales, and you can get this in different colors. This one's blue. It's a small knife, not very big at all. So it's a titanium frame lock flipper, but look at, there's the para too. There's the Panzer. The Panzer should look bigger uh, in it, than it would in this aspect ratio in comparison. Very small knife, not even a three inch blade. Interesting, there's your lock up about 35%. It's got a hardened steel insert. Just like that. Interesting. Yeah, the, you don't get a blade drop on this, by the way. I mean, this thing's yeah, a little bit. I mean, a little bit, but you got to really kind of shake this down. It's very light. So, and I've, I've got it pretty tightened up. I mean, I, I took it apart, put it back together. There's for your lanyard, I guess, back in here. You have jimping on top of the, um, of the frame. You've got a little bit of jimping on top of the blade. Uh, not enough room for all my fingers on the handle, but that's the way it goes with small knives. But you can go up forward here. You've got a little choil here for sharpening, so that's good. You've got a high grind. You can pierce, you can slice. Maybe you can do both. Maybe if we had a piece of paper, we could figure that out. Yeah, there you go. So, the Sandvik steel, very non-corrosive. Nice, usable blade steel. It's like a $74 retail, and then, you know, if you, take you use your 10 percent discount code ltk then this is going to be under 70 dollars so it'll be in the 60s yeah any case there's the information here overall length 6.1 inches 2.68 inch blade handle length 3.4 sandvik steel uh blade kvt ball bearings and it weighs three ounces. It's it's a chunky monkey, I guess, for uh, for as small as it is. You'd think, well, it might be about two ounces or that kind of thing. No, it's you know, it's it's some slabs of of titanium here, and I don't see any uh, no weight relieving under there. Three ounces. 87 grams so that's what it is it's lighter than the paramilitary two by less than an ounce but still three ounces pretty light pretty easy to carry around oh let me see if i got that picture to show you of when i took it apart yeah right here okay so they look to me like ceramic bearings, which is kind of unusual on a $60, $70 knife. Here's your uh, hardened steel insert over travel stop combination with uh, ceramic detent ball. And then of course you've got steel washers in here to, uh, you know, because you got titanium scale so you got to have the steel washers in there and there's your blade stop here's your pivot and pivot screw that kind of thing so yeah backspacer and then you just got a little locator pin in here for that part so taking it apart not very difficult because you got 
one screw here and one screw here. This one doesn't go all the way through, so I never took that one off. You just, one there and one there comes apart. Hardened steel insert, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't throw this out, but it's a very, very light blade. But no, I'd say, I mean, you can fail it real easy. So the detent on this is not real strong, but I don't know how strong you want it on a small knife. I mean, it's, it could be maybe a little stronger, but you can see how it flips right out. It's very intuitive. There's no jimping on the flipper tab, just like that. So you can push it out, though, pretty easy. So it doesn't hold a long time on the D10. Not on this model. But, yeah, easy to, easy to deploy, just like that. Very open. And let me grab my, I was going to, let me grab my little magnet and see what we got here. If this backspacer, well, the backspacer is not, not magnetic at all. There's nothing. Now I can feel this, the hardware here, but this I cannot. There's nothing there. It's trying to grab this over here, but and that little locator pin that goes through here, this backspacer. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling that a little bit, but I can't feel it out here. See, that just falls away. So this is not magnetic. I'm going to assume it's titanium. I don't know that for sure, but it's not. This is the backspacer is not magnetic. Just in case you might, if you buy one and you decide you want to bronze this or do something else, but the rest of the hardware is. And, you know, of course, yeah, and that does feel like it's actually the hardware, not just feeling the blade underneath. But yeah, it's the hardware itself that's magnetic. So that's. That's steel. But yeah, you might be able to uh, anno the, the backspacer. Oh, pocket clip. Uh, I was going to check that too. You know what? It's not magnetic. That is. That's not. Okay. So maybe that is titanium. It's just not a milled one, but it may be a stamped titanium uh, pocket clip. Son of a gun. You almost don't need a pocket clip on a knife this small you know the max ace panzer comes in this little fitted box like this let me see if they give you any model number information here there you go mpz05 14c28n i just thought it was kind of unusual because you know here's the tank right i have the max ace tank which came in this awesome uh, box really cool and I'll show you that max ace tank mk mtk02 blue anodized eh, i call it purple in any case this is m390 this is a different kind of cat this is much more expensive knife but interesting how they look see what i'm saying the panzer the tank we got a thematic thing going here I think so. I do think so. Man, this thing is, uh, I like the tank. I've actually held on to this for a while, which a lot of knives I don't, but I just can't get myself to say goodbye to this one. It's just a striking knife and it's, you know, it's M390 and all that kind of stuff. It's numbered as well, I guess, but it's just really so ultra cool. In any case, but the Panzer, obviously, you can get this for under $70 with your discount. So, titanium still. Probably a titanium pocket clip and backspacer as well. So, you want to bronze them or do something and color them somehow. That'd be cool. Or not. And then you've got very useful Sandvik steel blade. And a small, easy carry as opposed to a heavier, bigger knife. In any case, I just thought it was kind of interesting, the name Panzer and then the name Tank and how they look very, very similar in design. Cool. A lot of little machine work on here, but it's not really a big contoured thing. It's pretty much a flat scale 
with the machine work in it. So not ha nobody going to huge, you know, efforts to, to do anything too fancy. I like the cut open area in the blade, although it's not useful for finger flicking. And there you go. Cool little knife, though. Flanagan. Yes, sir. We got to let them go. Yeah, Max Ace, Panzer. You can get them at White Mountain. Look at the different color combinations they have there. And uh, see if this is the small knife for you. I like the design. That's what I was attracted to. I mean, there's a lot of knives I don't put on this channel, but... I don't put them on here because I'm not attracted to them. I, I, I'm not, I don't find anything, any cool factor with them. And so most knives are either got to be relevant in some way or they got to have a cool factor. And these are cool factor knives. So going to let you go. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. So stay sharp.